Time out. Okay, come on back. What's your name? Olivia. Hurry up, Olivia. Okay, you're going to hit another one. That was an awesome hit. And you scared me with your landing. You, did you know you landed on one leg? Okay, so, oh, I'm sorry, wrong drill. Okay, you're up, do it again. Hit, set her a good one. Watch everybody. Okay, how did you land? And that, with everyone watching after I said that, you were trying hard, right? Yes, you were, but it's hard. So what do you, how do you think you're programmed right now? Yes, so come on over here quick, let's go, hurry. Why do you land on one leg? Why? Exactly, that's a good answer, nice job. Why though? That's, that's a result. Your weight's over here, so you land there. Why? Yeah? Because she's letting the ball get this way. It could be a set, or it could be how we did our approach, so that we don't approach our shoulder to it, we approach our head to it, and we have to lean out to do it. Do you think that'll cause it? Yeah, that's nasty. We don't want to do that, but that's hard. But there's a bigger reason why we do it, all right? Do you, has any coach ever taught, talk, talked to you about hitting high or reaching? Okay, put the balls down. Reach. Like you're taking a penny off the top of the refrigerator. All right, is your right shoulder higher, or the lefty, is, your, is that shoulder higher than your other one? It should be, otherwise you're not reaching. Reach higher, tilt them. When your shoulders tilt, what happens if your right shoulder goes up, what happens to your right hip? It goes up with it, right? And when you go like this, where are you gonna land? On your left leg. Make sense? Yeah. So this falls on me because I'm teaching you to jump and reach because of the block and I wanna get kills, right? And the net for some of us, we've gotta get up there. But I have to teach you to land at the same time because this physics part here makes us land on one leg, right? It's the set sometimes or where the approach location is but it's also the exact technique we teach. So we have to teach you to land on two. Well, how do we do it? In my, my gym, if you, when I coached, I retired. If you land on one, our trainer watches. So we had someone to help us. She would go, you landed on one, don't do it again. And if you landed on one again, she would go, sit down, you're done. Okay, so you're gonna go hit another ball. Did you just land on one leg? Yeah. Okay, if you land on one leg again, you're going to sit right there. Let's go, everybody go hit. Time out. So no one else hit. They just wanted to watch you. <laughs> now, you almost landed on one leg. Did you feel that? Yeah. All of your weight was on this side. So what's going to happen is you might hurt that. You might not. You're, you're a really good athlete. But right down here, eventually, your leg might start to hurt because you're carrying too much stress on this leg. Right now, it doesn't matter, but later on, when you even want to be better, it will matter, so stop that. Okay, okay hit, let's go. Locate your step. So we're gonna do some drills. So you want to, you know what you want to do next? Can be whatever we want to do, drill wise. Yeah. Yeah. Good, just a drill for this age group is what we're looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're up. Oh my gosh, did you feel that? Yeah, I felt it. Okay, come on back over here. So if we actually looked and counted, I used to go recruit all the time, right? And I'd go, I'm bringing these people to my program and they all land like this. And it's because we have to start teaching you how to do it differently. But can't you be the responsible ones? You want to be healthy, yes? And so you, it's hard because the technique almost teaches us not to. So you have to relearn it and help yourself. And if you land on two and stick your butt out, it causes the forces in your body. Watch my face. Could you see the shock waves? Watch. Were there any? No. So all you have to do is do an accordion with your body and stick your butt out, and it takes all those shock waves and sends them away. All right, you will be healthier and you actually will hit better if you make sure you land on two because you'll stop approaching the bad places and setters will stop setting bad sets so that we don't do that, huh?
Okay, that was awesome.